A man from Perry Township traveled to Ukraine to help those in need. Details on how a manhole in New York City's Times Square exploded and caught on fire Sunday night. President Zelensky privately hosted British Prime Minister Boris Johnson in Ukraine. Two people dead and ten injured after a nightclub shooting. The case is still under investigation. Stay tuned for this and more as your News in a Flash starts right now. This is TV2 News. Good Monday morning, Portage County, and thank you for joining us. My name is Josh Aponte. And I'm Anthony Zacharias. Your time is 10.30. Let's get into today's top headlines. The Portage County Commissioner Office is set to begin a hiring process for a new consultant. A consultant is needed by the Commissioner's Office to help advise them on a possible takeover of the Portage County Airport. Commissioner Sabrina Christian Bennett says that the airport is an asset to the county and could help generate future revenue. Further interviews are set to take place Tuesday morning with applicants. Ohio is making national, new, national news with a proposed bill that is similar to the one proposed in Florida. House Bill 616 would ban both instruction and materials about sexual orientation and gender identity from kindergarten to third grade in most public schools and most private schools. Students that are in grades four and higher could have these discussions, but any of the curriculum has to be deemed age appropriate by state standards. Teachers that violate these rules could lose their licenses and the school could lose funding from the state. Protests took place Saturday at the Ohio State House to advocate against the bill. Protesters felt that it was important to protest to stand up for young Ohioans who need the support. A man from Perry Township is doing his part in helping Ukraine. Keith Marion had experience as a merchant marine traveling all over the world. On March 30th, he decided to fly to Poland to help Ukrainian refugees that are pouring in from the border. Marion is now located in Medica, which is a city right on the Ukraine-Poland border, helping those fleeing the country due to the Russian invasion. Two communities are coming together for one common purpose, aiding Ukraine. A church from Stowe and a church from Parma are teaming up this week for a supply drive to help those in need overseas. All the supplies collected will be shipped to Poland where an estimated 2.5 million Ukrainians have seeked refuge. For a full list of desired supplies, check out redemptionchapel.com. UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson made a last minute visit to Ukraine over the weekend on Saturday. Johnson was seen walking the streets of Kiev with Ukrainian President Zelensky. Images reveal Zelensky guiding Johnson down the war-torn streets of the capital city, where Johnson met with Ukrainian soldiers and civilians. Johnson said that his secret visit was to show his support, along with his countries, towards Ukraine as Russia continues its invasion. Good morning, Portage County. Kayla Earnhardt here to bring you the weather. Get your umbrellas and your ponchos ready, Portage County. We are embracing the spring rain this week. Today, right now in Kent, it is 49 degrees. We're going to see some thunderstorms here and there. That's going to bring it down. It's going to feel like it's around 43. Wind, not too bad yet, but watch out because later and later on in the week, that wind is going to get tough. Visibility is fine. You're going to see where you're going. Just make sure you have your windshield wipers on. All right, looking later into the day, as we get around into our afternoon, it is going to clear up. We're going to see some clouds, you know, and then going on later into the night, those thunderstorms are going to come back. It's going to be around 61, but it is going to be super duper rainy, so make sure you're safe out there, guys. Looking at our neighboring cities, we have everyone around us. We're all basically the same. We've got some rain right now. It's a little bit lower. Over there in Sandusky, they don't have as much rain at the moment. It is around 54. Waiting for those storms that we're going to get later. We are just waiting it out right now. Just rainy waiting. All right, later on into the week, as I said, you're going to feel like you're Bella in twilight right now because it is raining, raining, raining. Monday through Thursday, we have thunderstorms, 
rain, morning showers, evening showers. It's just always going to be raining, guys. Just be prepared. Get your umbrellas. Then later on into the weekend, that rain is going to clear up, but the wind is going to be scary. We have 15 to 25 mile per hours. Be safe out there, guys. That's all I have for you today. But don't forget to head on over to KentWire.com for more of the latest updates on weather, news, and sports. This has been Kayla Earnhardt. Back to you guys on the desk. Thank you, Kayla. A 10-year-old student in Utah has died from suicide. Isabella Tishner was bullied for her race and disability at her school, Foxborough Elementary. An investigation has found that the staff at Foxborough did not know the district's definition of bullying. There has been widespread concerns about the Davis School District's bullying policies, and the investigation is still ongoing. A manhole Sunday night created an explosion and started a fire in Times Square, sending people to scramble for safety. Officials say a power cable failure is the reason for the explosion and flames, which sent multiple manholes up in smoke. Firefighters also found high levels of carbon monoxide in a nearby office building, which firefighters also fought to eliminate. The providing energy company, Con Ed, reported no power outages in the area and no injuries. Shots broke out early Sunday morning at a nightclub in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Officers were able to immediately respond to the shooting. Two people were pronounced dead at the scene and 10 were injured. The cause of the shooting and the scene are still under investigation. The Cavs take on the Bucks at home. See how they did in my sports block coming up. And Mattel is working to use 100% recycled or bio-based plastic for all their toys. Don't let E. coli mosh with your food. An estimated 3,000 Americans die from a foodborne illness each year. You can't see these microbes, but they might be there. So always separate raw meat from vegetables. Keep your family safe at foodsafety.gov. Every one of us has a voice. And every voice has the power to shape the world. Ours is no different. Our voice is 85 years in the making. A voice that's more than 700 students strong, one of the largest in the nation. It's 10 different award-winning media partners sharing 34 outlets, all working united toward a common goal. Our voice reaches 30,000 households on TV, over 22,000 magazine readers per year, half a million newspapers, feature films and stores nationwide. Our voice is pride in what we do. It empowers students, emerging professionals, to ask tough questions and demand answers. We believe in our voice. We believe in its ability to change the world. And our voice makes us who we are. And now, your TV2 Sports Report. Tragically killed on Saturday morning after being hit by a truck while crossing a South Florida highway. After the news broke out, the NFL world grieved, including his former teammates who mourned his death and expressed gratitude for being a part of their life. To see what else is going on in the sports world, let's toss it over to Michael with sports. How's it going, Portage County? I'm Michael Neenan, and I'm here to tell you about last night's sporting events. Now first, we look at the Cavaliers who took on the Bucks at home, and a great of course, job of knocking they down. would have a great game today, blowing out the Bucks. But first, let's see how it went. Now on the first highlight, you have Lamar Stevens who would go up right over the dunk. What a great rotation player he's been this season, a very good player for the Cavs. I'm excited to see what he does next season too. But the Bucks would answer right back. Here we see Antetokounmpo would go up for the dunk. Is that Giannis? No, that's his brother, Thanasis. 
getting some quality minutes today. And here Evan Mobley would get the block. The Cavs would go in transition. And for the two-way play, Evan Mobley would go up and get that dunk right there. What a great season he's had. And of course, Rajon Rondo with a cross-court pass to Isaac Okoro. Man, what a play by both of them. Rajon Rondo, he came in to replace the injured Ricky Rubio. What a great presence he's been for this Cavs team, despite all the injuries. And of course, the Cavs would go on to win 133 to 115. They would go on to play Brooklyn at seven tomorrow in the Barclays Center. Now, of course, on to the next one, we have the Lakers taking on the Nuggets Number in three. Denver. Uh, not a lot of starters playing for the Lakers yeah, since they were eliminated from the playoffs, including LeBron James and Anthony Davis. But of course here we have Jeff Green who goes up for the dunk. It would be a pretty high scoring game here. Not a lot of defense being played and in transition Malik Monk, he would go up for the dunk and finish the game with 41 points. Pretty big for the Lakers. And Bryn Forbes, he would get a four point play right there. But of course Bones Highland, he couldn't be outdone. He would also get a four point play. Nikola Jokic, the league MVP last year, loving it. And Michael Green would get another dunk on the fast break, but the Lakers would answer right back. Here we see Austin Reeves with the fake out. He would get a triple. And moving on here, in the final seconds of regulation, Austin Reeves, he would get the steal. He would drive all the way down to the court. And then he would go in for the running layup to tie the game and send the game to overtime. And here in overtime, Austin Reeves would hit a clutch three to put the Lakers up. And here, off the inbounds pass, it would be Mac McClung who'd go up for the dunk to put the Lakers up yet again. And the Lakers would go on to win 146 to 141 in overtime. That's all I have for sports today. Be sure to follow our Twitter at TV2KSU Sports and tune into Sports Corner tonight at 8 p.m. for all sports related updates within the area. From TV2 Sports, I'm Michael Neenan, and let's get right back to the desk. Thank you, Michael. A local Kent City Schools teacher diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia, or ALL, in 2019 is striving towards spreading cancer awareness. Garrison Wallum has launched his very own website to take part in spreading awareness. His campaign, called Cancer is Dumb, raises 20% of all of its funds to St. Jude's Children's Hospital. Cancer is Dumb has already raised almost $200 for St. Jude, and that number continues to rise. Visit CancerIsDumb91.com to check out Cancer is Dumb and view all products. Mattel is releasing its first ever carbon neutral toys that includes a Matchbox Tesla car. The company is continuing its pledge to use 100% recycled plastic materials for its products by 2030. The Tesla Roadster is Matchbox's first die-cast vehicle made from 99% recycled materials. It is also certified carbon neutral and is already sold out online. Wow, that's crazy. That's all the time we have for your Monday Flashcast. For updates on all these stories and more, visit KentWire.com and follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at KentWire. I'm Anthony Zacharias. And I'm Josh Aponte. Have a great weekend, Portage County. This is Portage County's TV2, broadcasting from the campus of Kent State University. Streaming online at KentWire.com. So, I just moved in with this family, and it's embarrassing. The little one, he likes to go outside and crawl around in the giant litter box. I don't know what he's doing. I mean, I was born and I knew how to use the litter box. Look at that. That's disgusting. Oh, poop already. You're making me nervous. Oh, okay, I can't look at this anymore. I really hope he grows out of this for his sake. You think you're just checking your messages or telling a friend you're on your way. They could be the last words you ever type. Make sure you get where you're going. Being a dad can be tough. When's the fairy princess coming? Any minute now. But it's always worth it. I know it's really you, bro. I'm just pretending for the other kids. Take time to be a dad today. Call 877-4-DAD-411 or visit fatherhood.gov.